Hey, what's up? It's Wick for Xiaomi Fi, and today I'm not only looking at uh, Xiaomi's all new Mi Scooter Pro 2, I'm also gonna upgrade my first generation Mi Scooter Pro to the Mi Scooter Pro 2. How that's gonna work out? Let's find out. Let's go. So, in the box, you'll find the same as we've seen with the previous generations. The scooter is nicely packaged. It comes with an Allen key to mount the steering wheel to the frame, an attachment for if you need to inflate the tires, the charging cable and adapter, and a nice touch is that this one now comes with a spare tire. And that's about it. So, the Mi Scooter Pro looks a little bit different than the last version, as you can see. And the first thing you'll notice are these reflectors on the side, back and front of the scooter. Another notable improvement is this bridge that connects the rear fender to the body of the scooter, so it's not as loose as on the previous models. Okay, so the rear fender has been connected to the frame a little bit better, and it's got some reflectors all around the scooter. But what else has improved on the Mi Scooter Pro 2? Well, it's got some improved cabling, mostly internal, and it's got a different color on the outer cable, so they're now black instead of red. It's got a slightly improved braking system. It's got a brighter headlight and a larger tail light, some small improvements on the LCD display, and supposedly stronger tires. It connects with the Mi Home app over Bluetooth from where you can monitor the speed, turn on the Bluetooth lock, enable cruise control, and download additional firmware updates for the scooter. It also gives you a video with safety instructions when you first install it, and you need to install it with the Mi Home app before using it now. So how is it in use? Well, it rides very well. As I've reviewed the Mi Scooter and the Mi Scooter Pro, I'm quite used to how these ride, and it does feel slightly better in my opinion. Although, it should pretty much be the same experience as on the previous Mi Scooter Pro. How it works is easy. It's a matter of powering it on, giving it a small push, then accelerate by using the acceleration knob on the steering wheel, and you're good to go. Just like we've seen before, it's got a small display in the handlebar that will show you the battery life, the current speed, and which speed mode that you're in. With the button below, you can turn the scooter on or off by long pressing. You can toggle between the three different speed modes by double pressing it. And you can turn on the lights when it's nighttime by short pressing it. So overall, it looks nice, it feels nice, but it's similar to what we've seen with the Mi Scooter Pro. In terms of its specs, I can compare it to the Mi Scooter Pro as well. And here you'll see it's got the same 12,800 milliamp hour battery, same 45 kilometer travel distance, same max speed of 25 km, and even the same size and weight. It's got the same dual braking system, which is a little bit approved on this one, but it doesn't say exactly what has improved. It's got the same size 8.5 inch tires and it's got the same 300 watts brushless motor and well, we could go on and on. So for all the tech specs and details, I can pretty much refer you to checking out my review on the Mi Scooter Pro right here. So I'll probably go in a little bit more detail right there. So what should really be the biggest improvements on the Pro 2 is the brighter headlight, the larger tail lights, which definitely seems a little bit brighter when I compare it with the Mi Scooter Pro. So that's definitely good, it's a plus. And as you can see right here at night, it does work very well. And it's got these reflective stickers, which also makes it a little bit more visible at night, as you can see here. And then it's got that bridge to make that rear fender stronger. But visually, as far as I could tell, that's pretty much it. And because it is effectively the same scooter, that's exactly what I'm going to do with my Scooter Pro. So, I've cut some reflective 3M stickers and put them on the Scooter Pro. Then I bought that rear fender connection online and mounted that. And now I have basically upgraded to the Mi Scooter Pro 2. Yeah, and it just took some stickers and that connection and I'm there. I mean, there's definitely some small other improvements, but it's really not that big. So even though the Scooter 2 Pro looks great and rides nicely, it's got everything going for it that you would expect from a Xiaomi scooter, there's really no big and notable innovation. I mean, I could pretty much sum up what I would have loved it to have. I would have loved it to have two brake handles on each side of the handlebar. Apparently, as is on the German version of the scooter which, by the way, does go only up to 20 km. 
I would have loved to see some sort of suspension for the wheels. I would have loved to see an included phone mount on the handlebar. And mostly, I would have loved to see a new type of locking system. One that allows you to really physically attach the scooter somewhere, instead of just that Bluetooth lock. Which, by the way, does still do the same thing. I mean, when you lock it from your phone, it beeps when you move the scooter. It makes it very hard to move it, as it does somewhat block the wheels. But when simply picking it up, well, yeah, that's still the same. So don't get me wrong, I really do like the Mi Scooter series. They are well built. They have a very decent 45 km range. They have a very decent 25 km per hour speed. But in my eyes, this is not a Pro 2 upgrade. It's a Mi Scooter Pro 1X or whatever you want to call it. Because I really think it lacks the major upgrades and new features to legitimately call it the Mi Scooter Pro 2. I mean, if you don't have a Mi Scooter and you really want one, the Mi Scooter Pro 2 is surely the one to look at. But if you do have the Mi Scooter Pro already, there's really not that many new features to really justify an upgrade if yours is still working fine. So the Mi Scooter Pro has just launched this week on the global market, where it should pretty much go for the same price as the Mi Scooter Pro had, as it's launched in Spain for 499 euros, which is the same price as the Mi Scooter Pro had there. The price will be slightly different per country, but it should be somewhat in the same region though. So that is about all I have on the Mi Scooter Pro 2. It's still a very good and well-performing scooter, but in my eyes, not a version 2 upgrade, but more like a Mi Scooter Pro 1X upgrade. So what do you guys think of the Mi Scooter Pro 2? Is this something that you want to pick up? And if you have a Mi Scooter Pro 1, are you interested in picking this one up? Let me know down here in the comment section what your thoughts are and let me know what you guys think of the Mi Scooter Pro 2. And also, don't forget to leave a little like below this video to show me that you liked it. And don't forget to subscribe to the channel if you have not done that yet, because I'm doing a ton of videos about products from Xiaomi and the Xiaomi ecosystem right here on the Xiaomi Fi channel. As always, thank you guys for watching, and I hope to see y'all soon. Peace.